The thing is about Johnny Manziel is that Johnny Manziel is a quarterback that honestly can run around a whole lot, right? He's a guy that runs around a ton, Johnny Manziel. And I'm not sure that Johnny Manziel is a guy that can ever win from the pocket. Even though Baker Mayfield is really a tiny quarterback, Manziel is even smaller. He's about 5'10". The thing about Johnny is his arm strength is not great. He's decent at throwing on the run to his right, but he oftentimes leaves the pocket way too early. And the thing about Johnny is that can he make second level throws? And even in his game against, uh, in the first game that we saw him play, he was making five yard throws, 10 yard throws. But we need to see Manziel and he needs to hit the intermediate 15, 20 yard throw more often. He's playing in this quirky Canadian league where you have three, like, you have three schlubby receivers and it's so hokey and gimmicky that they're just like running before the snap's even called. And then you're watching as this goalpost is in the middle of the damn field. It looks like rugby on grass. And with Johnny Football now, I give him a lot of credit. I'm rooting for Manziel. I was a Manziel fan at Texas A&M. I love that the guy is getting his life in order. And I'd probably be a good friend of Johnny Manziel. He's a very cool guy. He's friends with tons and tons of successful, successful people. And Johnny has that era of confidence. And Johnny Manziel's a guy that people like to follow. And Manziel... Very smart, underratedly intelligent guy. I mean, to be a friend of Drake, to be friends with all these guys, and to garner respect from celebrities, Manziel has a certain ability to market himself that makes him appealing for celebrities to be friends with. Now, the thing about Johnny is that I don't believe that he's a starting level successful NFL quarterback. He did have that great game in Cleveland where he hit Travis Benjamin and they were able to beat the Tennessee Titans. But can Manziel throw the ball 60 yards in the air on a dot? Can Manziel consistently play the game at the NFL level where he can be a starter? Because the thing about Johnny Manziel is that no team's going to want him as a backup. For a backup quarterback, for a dude that doesn't play, you want a guy that's just a study partner. That's what Chase Daniels is. That's what Kellen Clemens is. That's what Nate Sudfeld are. They are not going to be personalities that are going to attract headline news. They are not going to, to distract the team, the starting quarterback, or garner any media attention whatsoever. That is the best backup quarterback. Look at the backup for the Bengals. We don't really know. But look at the backup for the Oakland Raiders. It is Connor Cook. It's Christian Hackenberg. Uh, it, you know, you could look all down the list. C.J. Befford is a very good backup quarterback because C.J. is a guy that's just going to work. He's going to help Jimmy out. He's content. The biggest thing about being a backup in the NFL and actually playing in the NFL is to be seen and not heard, meaning that the media should not be able to jump on you. And the bottom line about Johnny is he will create media distractions. Even his comment basically saying, I'm not here to take any shit from these Canadian football players. That's going to get taken out of context. That's a never... That, that even though I like Johnny, you know, defending himself, bringing entertainment to Canadian football, the general managers are not going to look at that and they're not going to like the comment that he made because, again, to play in the NFL, you have to be as straight lined as ever. The thing about being a quarterback in the NFL is that if you're not a starting quarterback, um, being a backup and comparing the talents of like Kaepernick and Johnny Manziel to guys like Connor Cook, to guys like Tyler Figpen, to guys like J.P. Lossman, Trent Edwards, and all these piles of guys like Sean Mannion, who freaking sucks, and you know guys like... Um, Garrett Grayson is these aren't good quarterbacks uh, Nate Sudfeld these aren't really good quarterbacks rarely sometimes you have good backup quarterbacks like the Giants have good backups the Browns have very good quarterback depth uh, the, the you know the the Bills maybe have really good quarterback depth but usually when you have a good starting quarterback then your quarterback depth is terrible so if you're going to compare Manziel to Hoyer and you're going to compare Kaepernick and these guys to Hoyer 
Hoyer, Brian Hoyer, he, the, the Kaepernick and Manziel and RG3, they're going to win every time from a talent standpoint. The point is, though, when you're a backup quarterback is, again, your goal, again, is to not distract the team. That is why hard knocks, that's why teams pass up hard knocks. This is the NFL here. So that's my argument for why Manziel's not going to be back. It's because even though Johnny's playing decently well, he doesn't have the ability right now. He doesn't trust himself to make second level throws to make 10, 15, 20 yard throws. And that's why in his debut, he was okay. He didn't turn the ball over. His head was spinning a million miles per hour and he actually fared okay. But he's going to have to do a lot, lot better. He's going to have to beat out Jeremiah Masoli, the Oregon and Mississippi quarterback. He's going to have to beat out Masoli if he wants to have a chance now to be um, the starting quarterback of an NFL franchise. And listen, on a Friday night, I have no life, so I was watching that shit up there in Canada with all those weird-ass graphics on ESPN Plus spending $5 of money that I sh- that's not even really worth that kind of money, but maybe it is. Five bucks isn't that much money, whatever. Maybe it is to some people. I don't know. I don't want to talk about money the whole show. Anyway, Johnny Menzel needs to do more in his Canadian football life, and he needs to make deep level throws. I don't care if they're picks. Uh, first game, getting used to the system, needs to beat Masoli out, and I mentioned my fears of Manziel and my prediction that I don't think he's going to start another regular season game in the NFL, and I hope that I am wrong. But I commend Johnny for continuing to follow the dream, for being there, for competing and playing football, for giving us fans something to watch. I commend him in his efforts, and I'm proud of Johnny for taking this leap, going to Canada, living by himself in a foreign country, and doing his thing. So great job, Johnny, and uh, keep at it, man. I'm rooting for me to be wrong, and I'm rooting for so many people to be wrong along this journey. Prove me wrong, Johnny. I want to see you start and be an NFL quarterback.